Hi, I'm Simon Chrétien. I'm just getting ready to start assembling my new greenhouse, the new uh, legacy uh, feature greenhouse from BC Greenhouse Builders. So let me show you what are the steps to install the walls. When you start installing your greenhouse, you uh, will need to first mark the dimension of greenhouse on the foundation. You uh, will need to do that, a tape measure. Uh, you can also use a chalk line and for sure a pen. First thing to do is to uh, measure your uh, foundation uh, regarding to the base part of the greenhouse and mark the, the, the position where you want to locate it. Depending on how you build the foundation, it's probably going to be centered into uh, the foundation, but otherwise you need to make sure you adjust the measurement so you are uh, not off the foundation. Your uh, base uh, needs to be perfectly set on the foundation. To do this, you can use a chalk line. It's a good tool to help you align all the part of the greenhouse and make sure you're perfectly aligned with uh, the base of the foundation. As you can see, I'm going to install a seal gasket uh, in between the pressure treated wood and the aluminum seal because uh, since the pressure treated wood is uh, containing copper, a kind of copper that can react with the aluminum and uh, uh, some kind of do some kind of corrosion on the aluminum and we want to keep your greenhouse uh, for a long long time and aluminum is uh, rust uh, protected but not from the copper reaction so if we put this gasket we're good to go for several several years without any problem so it's a little detail that would also give you some more uh, protection from air and filtration of water uh, under your greenhouse so let's start by installing this before we put the first part of the greenhouse before you fix the seal gasket it's important to make sure that the surface is clean. You don't want any dust or uh, wood residue, something else underneath, because it could cause some uh, bump that would uh, will deform a little bit the, the aluminum seal, or it will affect the job of the gasket because it will make some hole or bump uh, that could allow some water or air to uh, infiltrate in the greenhouse. Also, it does a cleaner job. When you measure the position of the base of the greenhouse, it's always a good thing to use a level to uh, make sure your uh, measure, tape measure is properly aligned and you have proper measurements of the position of your base. Otherwise, you could have some discrepancy uh, due to the design of the wood and the rounded corner. By the way, I forgot to mention that I decided for personal preferences not to align the seal to the outside edge of the foundation as per the manufacturer recommendation. In that case, the challenge is that water will pool on the wood and it will degrade much faster over time. To prevent that, I plan to install an aluminum sheeting over the exposed wood. An even better idea would have been to install the sheeting on the full width of the wood before installing the seal. But I was so excited to start assembling my greenhouse that I forgot to do it. When your base is uh, properly aligned, the measurements are correct, you just have to screw the base with the stainless screw that are provided by the manufacturer. Uh, make sure that you don't move the seal while you screw uh, the base and use the proper screw that are uh, the stainless uh, number 10 uh, inch screw. Uh, since we use a seal gasket underneath uh, our base, uh, we cannot, uh, I cannot apply the caulking that uh, is provided with uh, the, the, the greenhouse kit uh, underneath it, like uh, mentioned in the instruction. Uh, instead, I'm going to put it outside, just on the uh, border of the, 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 the seal, uh, that will finish um, to properly um, protect the inside of my greenhouse. Another thing, is uh, to make sure to put the, the base on the right side of the greenhouse. As you can see, the inside of the greenhouse, I have uh, the corner here uh, to the inside, and the outside is the open uh, space of the base. Otherwise, you're going to have some trouble figuring out uh, how it, uh, it fits. And also make sure you have the two holes uh, just next to the position of the door. 
While fixing your base, you might want to check before fastening all the screw that your square is uh, perfect. You don't have uh, too much difference uh, in the four square of your greenhouse to make sure you don't have a problem later on when you assemble the greenhouse. Um, it's better to do it uh, now than after everything is uh, fastened, everything is screwed, uh, or even uh, worse, you have started assembling your greenhouse. So take uh, a, a square, uh, a rule and make sure all your corners are perfectly square. Make sure you don't over tighten the screws. If the screws are too tight, you're going to create bumps uh, in the, the base of the greenhouse. This will deform the aluminum and cause problems later on. Uh, but also, you could also uh, break the screws. After you finish screwing your base, uh, you'll want to uh, seal the top of the screws with the Tremco uh, 830 provided by the manufacturer. And you also want to seal uh, the seam of the base here, uh, where uh, the two parts uh, butt together, to make sure you have a perfectly tight seal all around the greenhouse. Afterward, uh, I'm going to seal the perimeter of the greenhouse with the same product, uh, but before I'm going to cut the excess of uh, the seal gasket to make sure I have the room to seal uh, all the exterior of the greenhouse. Uh, why I'm doing uh, this kind of uh, perimeter sealing is uh, because uh, of the seal gasket that we put in, like I told you earlier. Uh, I was not able to put um, a little uh, uh, seal a joint all under the base. Uh, I wanted to have a tight seal, so I'm going to do it uh, to the exterior. I'm going to place it to the exterior of the greenhouse. So just put a little bit of caulking on the screws, and then you can use your fingers, use preferably a soapy water uh, or if you're stuck, you can use saliva on your finger, and even better if you use a glove underneath. Just spread the caulking evenly to do a good job, clean job. Remember that you're going to pass on your greenhouse to your grandchildren, probably. So you want it to be perfect or as neat as possible. It's important to seal the screw perfectly. Not because the screw will rust, because the screw is a stainless steel, so it won't rust, but you don't want the water to, or humidity to go underneath it and go affect the wood or the other structure you have underneath. It's important to seal where the seam butt together to make sure you have a proper seal on the greenhouse. Just a little bit, a little bit of caulking there. The caulking will dry pretty fast, especially if you're in the sun, so make sure to uh, smooth everything on uh, as long as you work and you go on, because you might have some problem uh, making a nice surface with the caulking. So we do the same thing for the other corner and for uh, the other screws. It's now time to install your corner post. Uh, you do the same for the, each corner of the greenhouse. Uh, your corner posts are going to be identified in your uh, kit. Um, first, you need to apply the seal tape uh, on, the, on both sides of the corner. Uh, a tip that I can give you if uh, you want to save time and uh, be more efficient is uh, you take all your bars and you apply the seal tape to all the bar in each position that it's required uh, at first. And then each time you need a bar or a corner post, you're gonna have uh, a piece that is ready with uh, the seal tape already installed on it. It's gonna be faster and easier. Uh, but just make sure you don't mix up all the bundle of parts. You keep all the bundles together so you can keep track of what parts are going where on the greenhouse. Uh, the Seal tape is going outside of the greenhouse because uh, the wall, uh, the glass wall is going to come on it. Um, you're going to have to look at the orientation, the angle at the top of the post to make sure you're on the same side as the roof is going to be. Uh, it's important to look that up at the beginning uh, because if you install a post uh, without 
taking in consideration the angle on top of it. Uh, you might have some trouble later on when you try to assemble the roof. Uh, so it's important, important to uh, consider the angle uh, that is the same as the roof will have. Um, and for sure, the flat base is going on the bottom. Uh, don't take apart, uh, you, as you can see, it can slide, but don't take apart the pieces of the corner post. You might have some problem um, putting it back together. So when you place the corner post, you just slide the bolt in the channel here and uh, then you uh, install uh, the nuts and you just tie it uh, with your tool. Uh, I used a uh, box 716 uh, inch and uh, I tightened it by hand. Uh, later on I'm going to torque it a little bit more. Uh, I just want to have some uh, adjustment uh, available when I place the other parts and uh, be able to move it just a little bit. So we do the same thing for uh, the other corners uh, and then we're going to go back uh, to our inventory of, uh, of parts and uh, lay out the other parts for the side walls. So when unpacking your uh, part bundle it's uh, important to uh, go from the interior to the exterior with your knife. You don't want to scratch your parts by going this way directly on top of the parts so it's best to go away from the parts. Uh, you can also use the, the, some channel uh, some part channel to to able to reach in under the plastic and cut it. Um, so just take your time. Uh, it might take you a little bit more time, but you're gonna preserve your parts uh, intact and won't have to do a touch-up paint. So the first thing to do when you are assembling your door frame is to determine uh, which part are going where. Uh, it's a good thing to uh, lay down the parts on a flat surface and uh, make sure uh, you place it correctly and you have the right one at the right place because as you can notice uh, the form, the geometry of these parts are the same but they don't have the same disposition of these holes. So, uh, you need to make sure you choose the proper plate for the proper position if you want it to make it, uh, if you want uh, to work perfectly. So uh, to install uh, the door frame first we connect the top door plates to the 1 inch by 2 inch angle header. Uh, the top door plate uh, have a side that you need to have the proper orientation. This, uh, the top of the bar here with the, the this notch go up. This is the interior of the greenhouse, this is the exterior of the greenhouse. The exterior is a, you remember, uh, like the base, uh, large plate is for uh, the uh, exterior of the greenhouse. So we're going to install these uh, door plates um, with uh, the six hole and we're going to install it this way. I'm going to use the stainless bolts provided and we're going to do the same on the other side. Uh, the same, always in the same plates. So uh, I'll get back to you as soon as it's uh, screwed. Now it's time to connect the short door frame bar to the header and uh, top door plates. So uh, you take your uh, short door frame uh, bar, you insert uh, two bolts here uh, and two bolts on the other hand. Uh, you notice that you have uh, three holes here. Uh, you don't use up this three hole because you need uh, the exterior hole to uh, connect later on the sidebar of the door frame. So uh, you only connect those two holes for now and you keep this one free for uh, the sidebar uh, we're going to connect later on. So uh, let's bolt this together. As you can see, the bolt here you have to be quite flush with the side of the bar so it will fit if you're not properly aligned it won't fit so you just don't worry 
and you take your time to place it together. So the next step to install our door frame is to uh, install this uh, one by two plates um, just right here in the two holes that are uh, on the side of your door drop or, or your door if you don't have a door drop. Door drop. Uh, please leave those two holes uh, free. You're going to need it to install uh, later on your uh, sidebar for the door frame. You now insert uh, two bolts in your holes. You place the nuts on the other side. Uh, no, also note that I uh, place this plate to the inside of the bottom bar, uh, the base bar, so we don't place it uh, inside this corner bar, but on the outside uh, of the bar, so it fits inside of the greenhouse. This way it won't interfere with uh, the wall system. Just tighten it slightly for first, and uh, later on we're gonna tighten the screw a little bit more to make sure it fits and it stays uh, well fastened till the end. And now we do the same on the other side of the door frame. Now we connect the long door frame to our bases. If you have a door drop, you just position the sidebar according to your door frame. Uh, you always need to refer to your uh, customized drawing to make sure you have the proper uh, dimension. And then you can insert the bolt uh, in the notch uh, and uh, install it in the hole of the base plate like uh, we did previously. When you finish with the base, you install uh, the header assembly on top of the side bars of the door frame. So we're going to use the same bolt system in the tunnel and uh, insert uh, the bolt in the notch and then fix uh, everything together. So when you try to connect the header assembly to the side post, you might have some difficulties to uh, insert it. Uh, so the way to properly do it is to make sure you have enough room here that you're not too uh, stuck. So you have amplitude. So I unscrew a little bit the boat on the other side. Uh, this way I was able to uh, adjust the position of the header and uh, slide the bolt properly on both sides. So, uh, as you can see, the bolt are not tightened. It's really, really, really loose. Uh, I'm going to now uh, tighten the nub up. And uh, we'll see also later on when we adjust, we make the final adjustment with the rest of the frame. Maybe we will have to uh, unscrew a little bit and loosen them. We'll see. Now it's time to install the bracing of the greenhouse. We have two pieces of bracing on each side of the door and uh, one large bracing on the back gavel of the greenhouse. Uh, the height of the bracing is important uh, and it's uh, indicated in your uh, specific drawing of your greenhouse. Uh, first I'm going to insert the bolt in the notch in the channel of the sidewall. I'm going to fix the bracing and uh, I'm going to then uh, afterward uh, measure the bracing and make sure it's at uh, the proper height. Uh, it's going to be easier this way. This way. You can notice that the braces on each side of the door have a notch. There is an angle to protect uh, from accident that could happen if you got caught in the corner more secure that way and as you can see I positioned the bracing at 38 inch 5 8 
uh, which is the recommended uh, height in my specific drawing. Now it's time to install your gutters. You have uh, two gutters, one on the right side and one on the left side. Uh, it's important to have uh, the proper uh, orientation of your gutter uh, if you want to make it right. Uh, as you can see here on this part, uh, you have an angle side and one angle here that you have a, a second corner. This is uh, the part that is going up and is going on the outside of the greenhouse. This part, this side, where you have the notch, let me show you, here. This is the part that goes inside the greenhouse. This is where we're gonna put the bolts and nuts. So where you have the notch, it goes inside. The other side is the outside of the greenhouse and it's the top part. So we install the gutter uh, on the right side and on the left side. We do the same thing on the both sides. Uh, let me show you how it's done. So you place one side of the gutter here going in like that so on, on the current post show you again okay so this is the way you insert the gutter on the corner post Make sure you insert the gutter to the top completely on the corner post. Then you tie it up, you tie the screw. There you go. You have one side of the gutter installed. Let's do the same on the other side and uh, for the four corner posts. Same thing on the right side of the greenhouse. Next step is to install the glazing bar to the front and the end of the greenhouse. So first you uh, apply the foam tape and then uh, you make sure you have the proper uh, disposition of your uh, uh, glazing bar and you can bolt them with the same uh, bolt as the rest of the greenhouse. Uh, I'll show you how it's done. Um, previously, the tip I told you is if you apply the uh, foam tape to all your bars in advance is going to go faster and uh, you do the same for the back of the greenhouse you install the glazing bar and you attach them to the bottom of the frame and then you attach uh, the glazing bar to uh, the top braces so you place the bar the glazing bar here just next to the notch and then you insert your bolt um, you can uh, insert your bolt uh, from the top notch uh, in the glazing bar and then slide it down or you can insert it by the bottom and then you just apply the bolt there, like that like so and you screw it on after we bolt to the bottom of the bar we come to the top and then we bolt the top part to the braces insert the bolt into the notch a little bit higher on the bar then you can come and insert it in this notch hold it with your finger and then you can tighten up the bolt as you can see uh, there's angle on the one hand of the glazing bar uh, this one has two angle, it's uh, because it's the centerpiece for the back wall. Uh, you have uh, the angle for the roof, as you can see it's, you have two sides. Um, this is the, the center pieces and uh, the other pieces uh, are, are gonna have only one angle uh, on one, eye, one end of the bar, so you have to um, position the bar according to the orientation of the roof, the angle of the roof, depending on the side you are on. So it's important to do this properly. Uh, the other end of the bar is uh, flat, so this part goes on the bottom. So this is uh, another example of an angle you have to look for. For one side of the roof uh, is the, the glazing bar for the back wall. And this 
is for uh, the left side of the greenhouse if you're facing uh, the back. So this is the results. The side glazing bar have also an angle on top of it. The bottom is flat, but the top has an angle. So you need to install the glazing bar according to the orientation, the angle of the gutter. So you can follow uh, the orientation of the gutter and uh, you will correspond to the angle by the mean same time, the same angle as the roof. Uh, so it's important to uh, check the end of the bar before installing it. When installing the side uh, glazing bar, it's best to uh, insert at first the top of the glazing bar and then slide it in position and then position, place the base of the glazing bar. So as mentioned earlier, make sure you have a tight fit between the glazing bar and the gutter. So that's it for the wall.